So here I am in Excel. I've got a list of students here, their grades here, and I want to know where they rank in that list. Who came first, who came last, and where everyone ranked in between all of that. Now in previous versions, I'm using Excel 2010, but in previous versions such as 2007 and before, there was a function called rank and it still exists in here. It's compatible and you could use that. But there's actually two here and I'm just in the formulas tab. More functions and if I go into statistical, I can find them here. One is called rank equal and the other one is rank average. So the difference is, and we'll take a look at this, and this is why I've got two of them here. So this one here, the EQ, if I did this, it would come up with Lisa number one, Marvin number two, these two equal three, and me number five. Whereas if I use the average, it's going to do Lisa one, Marvin two, these two at 3.5 each, and me at five. So I could just use one called rank, and the other way you could find these is just by going into the little insert function here. So I'm going to just do this for the rank one. And I'm just going to go to compatibility, which is down here. And it's here that I find the rank one. Now I could have just searched for it, but it's sometimes nice to know where it is. Let's just click on OK. And here's my function arguments I've got to pin. The number is this one here. That's the actual grade itself. The ref is actually the table that it's in. So um, it quite often this is just called array, but for some reason in this function it's called ref. So I'm just going to highlight that. So you know if I copy this, if I copy it down, these are going to change. That's going to change from B2 to B6, from B3 to B7 and so on, and that's not really going to work. So you may have seen another tutorial that I've done where by putting in the dollar signs in front here, it makes that part of it absolute. So it's actually called mixed referencing because you're using relative and absolute, but that's the dollar signs for you, and you can look at that other tutorial. The order, by default, highest is number one, and lowest is whatever the lowest number is. If you want to change it so it's the other way around, you can put in any number here as long as it's not zero. So I could just hit three. I mean, most of the time you would hit one, and you can see it's actually changing down here. But I do want to know who was number one, and I could leave it blank or type in zero. So let's click on OK. I'm just going to drag that down, and you'll see... There you go, that's the rank. Now this works the same as a rank.eq. Let's just do that, rank.eq, and we'll also do the rank.avg, just to see the different result we get. So this time I'm just going to go into more functions just for something different. Go to statistical. Let's just choose the rank eq one here. And again, it's just this number. The ref is that table there, that little array. I'm just going to put my dollar signs in again so that the these numbers here don't change the two and the six. I'm just going to click on OK and once again grab the right hand corner to auto fill it so it's copied. You can see it's done the same thing. Let's just do the same thing. I'm just going to show you I could actually type in rank at the top here. And here we go. Here are the functions. I'm going to choose the average this time. So let's just click on OK. Same again, there's that one, that's my number that I want. Here's the array, the reference. So I'm just going to again put in my dollar signs. There we go, and click on OK. So if I copy it down again by going to the right hand corner and dragging it down, you can see it's giving them their equal three and a half, and I guess that might be useful for some people. I'd like to know they were equal three. You can see it leaves out the four. And it doesn't matter how many were there. If there were three of them that were equal three, the next one would be six. So there you go. That's how you can use rank, rank.eq and rank.avg average in Excel.